Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 63. Parashati, I think you should stay in the Grand Dukedom. Now, I get why you did what you did. You might have been in danger too. Now that it comes to this, please stay there. I promise I'll be in charge of the countdom for a year anyway. From the petition used as evidence, we can see the list of servants who followed the, followed the countess. I'll be taking care of things in the countdom while you're away. As for what to do after, let's discuss that later. She looks so, like, out of it. Um, the other doctors left a few days ago. Only two people left, but the residence feels rather quiet. Uh, indeed. Um, let us leave too, your grace. Uh? Huh? Come again? My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 63. Uh, this is all too sudden. Uh, is everyone here now? Your Grace, I promise you, I shall redeem myself from the last time's failure. Please, you can count on me in any dangerous situation. Don't you think danger shouldn't come in the first place? Well, he insisted he comes in a squire's place. We ought to acknowledge him for his determination. Greetings once again, Your Grace. Gunther Will, at your service. I am one of the elite knights of the Grand Dukedom. I look forward to accompanying you for the next week. It, it is my honor to escort you. Um, thank you. His Grace has requested that we serve you well. Now, a quick reminder. As you all should know, we mustn't let anyone know we come from the Grand Dukedom. Mm. Her Grace is supposed to be a Viscount's daughter, on her way to enjoy the Summer Flower Festival in the outskirts. Parashati, Viscount's daughter. So you must address her as My Lady instead of Your Highness. And I am supposed to be a Baron's daughter and her friend, Rebecca, Baron's daughter. But she is the Baron's daughter. Uh. Raymond, you're a servant. Raymond, servant. And Gunther, you're our guard. But I wish to serve her grace up close. Can I be the servant instead? Fine with me. What about me? Gunther, slap. <laughs> she marked it out. Servant. Raymond, guard. Oh, Joseph, porter. Make haste! It takes a whole day to get there. Uh, is this really appropriate? It hasn't been long since the trial finished. I accepted this since I couldn't stand staying in the residence, but I feel like I'm causing trouble to everyone. The housekeeper and I picked out some dresses for you, Your Grace. Let's be off. She actually smiled. Well, as long as I'm leaving, I better get some good rest before I return. Wow. Look at this. Oh, a different view. My lady, I've come to take you around. Wow. I promise you this will be the best day ever. What? I thought the guide was arriving on the fourth day. So we have all the time in the world. We should visit all the interesting places here. Excuse me, sir. I'm reading. <laughs> but we were riding in the carriage the whole day yesterday. Detailed itemized schedule. Day one, move. Day two, seven o'clock. Get ready to leave. 7.30, move in breakfast. 8.30, I'm assuming. To the garden. Oh my gosh. Come on, let me help you get dressed. Oh, elaborate. Rebecca? What a 
if it, she feels down again. Does she hate the plan? Oh, She's trying to get her parachute out of her own head, you know? Oh. By distracting her. Yes, let's just go then. Oh. <laughs> Day four of the trip. Ugh. Oh gosh, she looks so zombified here. She's probably like so exhausted. It's such a tight schedule. Of course I'm thankful she prepared all of this for me. I'll hate to ruin the mood, but I want to go back. Exhausted. Such a beautiful view, isn't it? Ugh. Th this is bad. The boat isn't going any far further. Huh? But we've come this far. Actually, in the middle of the lake. What? What are you talking about? But we've come this far. Exactly. Give me the paddle. Uh, what are you doing over there? Where is Sir Grace? Uh, huh? Rowing with a sword would be faster. T sure, try then. Aren't you so two supposed to be knights? I can't believe you can't row a boat properly. Some nobles must have come here for a trip. It looks like they didn't bring a boatman. Uh, my apologies, my lady. Apologies. We're not used to escorting a grand duchess. No, a, a lady, so... I thought you wore a disguise so you wouldn't attract attention. <laughs> oh, as I already mentioned before our departure, being as frail as he is, Ados... Ado... Ados? I forgot to say a name. Ad Adius has spent time visiting a number of rec recreational areas. Ow. So he will be guiding us for the remaining two days. Oh, huh? Uh, I wish I could choose a different person, but I don't have anyone to talk to or a friend. Still, he knows the way around here. Well, there was a, certainly a mishap involving him, but we know he isn't anyone suspicious. We've been watching him for quite some time now. And if he had any ill intentions, his grace wouldn't have approved. Um, how are your injuries? I'm fine now, thank you. So, first things first. Today, I think it's best we take a rest. Huh? Ah, uh, finally. Here, I've been way too busy to sew. Sulk. Perhaps Rebecca's way was right. Oh. I hear you're going to a festival in the outskirts. Why don't you stay out there during the festival? Uh, I will. Thank you for your kind consideration. Oh. When I get back, I should have a talk with him. Oh, that was a really sweet read. It's kind of, it's really sweet that, you know, they did all of that for her. Just so she can't be in her head and being sad and just like thinking too much. Like, but man, four days of them just doing stuff. That just sounds so exhausting. Like, I would be so, I would be so overwhelmed. Yeah, I always need a breather in between. Like, there's no way I could do stuff back to back. But I totally understand why they did that. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!